Leslie and thank you for joining me today. I am going to be documenting our visit to the Louvre in Abu Dhabi um, a while ago, probably about two months ago, 24th of August. <laughs> and I am not going to be documenting photos of like me and my family at the Louvre, but I'm going to be documenting the photos that I took of my favorite paintings that I swap the paintings that were at the Louvre that were my favorite paintings at the Louvre currently <laughs> um, in Abu Dhabi. So what I decided, okay, so these are our tickets. I kept our tickets and the little a visitor map. And what I decided to do is to dedicate um, a 12 by 12, a pocket page, um, page protector to each uh, painting and painter that I photographed. So this is a Jackson Pollock and it is called number 26a black and white um, <clears throat> now this is a photo that i took of the painting I, I took this photo myself so you can see a reflection in the glass it's not uh, <laughs> perfectly um you know the perfect size or you know the, the, these photos have some issues because <laughs> I had the kids with me and there were other people in the gallery so you know I took as best photos as I could of each painting that I you know that I wanted to take a photo of and so what I decided is for instance um, so let me just put this aside so for instance for this spread I decided I'm going to put um, my photo my photo on this side in um, this pocket so these three pockets at the top three pockets at the bottom okay um, so I'm going to be then putting a little story um, of the painting and so um, in this pocket and then in the other four pockets I am going to be I wanted to put something to do with the painter the artist and um, I found this image on the internet I had to dig quite deeply into the interwebs <laughs> to find a good quality photo of um of mr jackson <laughs> of jackson pollock painting i wanted to get a photo of him in action and a good enough quality photo that i could print it in an a4 size now i printed this on some glossy photo paper on my canon pixma printer there's nothing fancy to it and um, I'm just going to be um, cutting this photo in four and putting them in the pockets. Now, what I'm also going to be doing is that because there's open space. Now, of course, I want to see all the goodness he painted. <laughs> he splashed all over. However, I will be putting some word strips and so on. Maybe one of his quotes or something, um, uh, you know, on the photo somewhere. Um, you know, I'm not going to be embellishing with any collections. I don't want to take away from the painting. Um, so what I did when I took the photo of the painting that I wanted to photograph, I also took a photograph of the little clock next to it. So I'm going to be using some of that in the little story, but I'm also going to be doing, um, you know, uh, you know, when he lived, when he died, um, a little biography of the artist, uh, what was the style, um, you know, he used the whole pendulum um, swinging thing when he dripped <laughs> his drips and splatters and things, you know, so the whole, his technique and everything. I hope I fit everything into this little bit of um, this four by six uh, space, but I am going to be trying to do that. Then the next, um, layout I am going to be working on is um, James Whistler and his full name is James Abbott McNeil Whistler and he's an American artist um, he was based in the UK and this is a painting of and his this painting mother is called, I think, study in gray and white or oh, arrangement in gray and black so I also found this very beautiful high quality photo um, of the painting on the internet this is my own photo i took the 
next one I am going to be using and I wonder if you can guess who's this artist one of my favorite artists Mr. Henry Matisse there you go there he is in all his glory in his studio also a photo on the internet dug very deep for high quality photo and um, this uh, painting is called uh, Magnolia, Still Life with Magnolia. So, same principle, cut it in four, slide it in the pockets, little biography over here um, and the story about the, the painting, maybe doing some, um, putting a quote on here from Mr. Matisse and so on.